hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon for getting new updates welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'll show how to install kali linux so here guys we have two way how to install kali linux in virtual box first is manually and second is download pre-built virtual image from official website so in this video i'll show how to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox manually. So let's start guys. First of all, you have to download the normal installer, normal ISO installer. So download the latest version of Kali Linux and install the latest version of VirtualBox. So download both of them and install the virtual box. So I already done. And second step is disable your internet. So it will help you to install the Kali Linux in fastest mode. So disable your internet. Now open your virtual box and create new virtual machine. So open the virtual box, enter here name your type is linux and version of your linux so kali linux is based on linux distro and it is based on debian so i choose debian 64 bit select it and click on next here you have to enter the size of your ram so it is depend on your physical ram so click on create new hard disk type your hard disk so select vdi click on next here choose dynamically so it will help you to save your disk space here you have to enter the size for your hard disk it is up to 2 tb so you can give according to your hard disk so here our hard disk is our virtual machine is created so some setting have done here so go to the system and here uncheck the floppy disk and in processor you have to give processor so i gave here six according to my hardware you can give here one two or more so simply give the cpu processor and then simply done click on ok so our virtual machine is done so now we have to click on start start the virtual machine so I click on start and our virtual machine is setting up now here we have to add the ISO so I already add here the latest ISO so simply click on add select your ISO file and then click on open so it will add your ISO here and then click on choose and then you have to click on start so your installation is going on so here guys your installation is start now click on graphical install select your language now select your location so according to your location you can select your location and click on continue now this is the layout of your keyboard so now this is mount your installation media So here you have to simply click on continue we don't need configure any network so simply click on continue enter your host name click on continue if you have do any domain you can set here otherwise click on continue now here you have to enter the full name for your new user so here you have to enter the username click on continue and here you have to enter the password so this is the password for your new user so make sure your password is strong so now it is partition disk so now here we have to choose the disk so use entire disk you can choose manual so i choose here use entire disk it is create automatically partition all the partition simply select your hard drive and click on continue now you have to click on continue 
so now this is the final step click on continue click on yes and then click on continue so now it is installing formatting your hard drive and installing the ISO base ISO system in your hard drive so here you have to simply click on continue and you have to click on continue the package manager configure we don't need configure any package so you have to click on continue and here guys don't panic simply click on go back and then choose the yes we don't need any package manager we install the Linux without network so click on continue and now it is installing the software so it will took some time now here guys this is the software selection so you can select all the box this is offline installation so you can only install by default xfc desktop environment if you want to install any other desktop environment so you have to enable your internet so i check all the boxes and then click on continue so i check all of them this is the kali desktop environment so you cannot get any TTY error so simply check all the boxes and click on continue so now it will installing the software so it will took some time now here guys you have to install the grub bootloader so click on yes and then click on continue select your hard drive dev slash st and then click on continue so now it is installing the grub bootloader in your hard drive so this is the almost done so now here you can see your installation is complete click on continue and it is rebooting your operating system so now it is finishing the installation and rebooting your Kali Linux so now you can check our latest version of Kali Linux is booting up so now it is booting in so here guys the latest version of Kali Linux booting in your virtual box you can see your Kali Linux is booting so this is the login screen so you can check the latest version of Kali Linux is based on XFC so here this is the login screen and here you can log in with you create the user you cannot log in with root you have to log in with which user you create while you will install the Kali Linux so with the username and the password you have to log in here and then you can set your root password so first of all I log in with the username and here guys this is the desktop so this is the desktop of Kali Linux so this is the way how you can install Kali Linux by manually in virtual box so you can get pre-installed virtual image from official website so in next video where I explain how to download and how to install pre-built virtual images which is available on official website you don't need to download the installer file simply you have to download the pre-built virtual images so you can download and open with VirtualBox so in next video I'll show how to download and how to use it so here you can check this is the latest version of Kali Linux 2020.1 so here now you have to install many other software or other features in this virtual machine but when you download the pre-built virtual images so these images is fully configured by default by developers so we don't need any installation so this is the way 
how you can install latest version of Kali Linux in VirtualBox manually. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much. Thank you.